Let's shred. Today I'd like to show you six essential patterns that you absolutely need in your repertoire. These are the perfect building blocks for fast and really exciting licks. After working on these individual patterns, I also want to show you a really cool guitar solo exercise that I put together for this lesson. This really special alternate picking shred workout puts together all those building blocks and that's the perfect workout for you in case you want to learn how to shred as fast as possible. So let's not waste any more time and start right away. So before we check out the really cool alternate picking guitar solo exercise that I put together for you that is based on all those individual building blocks, we should check out each important pattern in detail. Let's start out with a basic but quite popular one. Quick disclaimer, you can use all of today's patterns in any kind of scale you want, but let's focus on the really popular scale of A minor today, also in its most popular position on the fretboard, starting from A on the 5th fret on the low E string, since most of you guys and girls will be familiar with that fingering. So just to show you the basic idea with today's patterns, we are alternating between the low E and the A string. Once you've familiarized yourself with the picking pattern and once your hands are synchronized, you can extend them of course to all the rest of the strings. So with this first pattern, the idea is relatively simple. You're working with triplets since you're playing a three note per string scale that comes in very handy. And you're just playing the scale position up on two strings or just like I demonstrated on all strings or four strings or as many strings as you want. And this one will get much more interesting as soon as we combine it with different patterns. Remember that all of those patterns are just building blocks. And the exciting part with all this starts when we start to mix and match all of those patterns together. I think you will start to see the great potential with all of this when we keep moving. Let's check out the second pattern now. This one already sounds and looks quite different. We're still ascending in the scale, but then we're just playing one note on the A string before we return to the low E string. With that one I want you to especially pay attention to the familiar topic of the flying pinky finger once again. It's actually very common to see it played like this. And that really stands in the way of speeding up this pattern because it's very hard to get a fast and controlled motion when your left hand is working like that. So focus on keeping your hands as close to the fretboard as possible with that one. And as a quick demonstration to spice things up, the magic already starts to happen when we combine pattern one with pattern number two. We will check out really cool and more practical licks like that one a bit later with the guitar solo part that I prepared for today. But all I did to spontaneously get that lick was combining pattern one with pattern number two. So working with building blocks like that is a great way for coming up with fast and really intense shred licks on the fly. Let's move to 16th notes and check out pattern number three right now. So for this one we're essentially cycling between two strings, between the low E and the A string, moving back and forth. And the really cool detail for this one is that we end up with an odd number of notes on each string. We start out with three notes on the low E string, then we have five notes on the A string, five notes once again on the low E string, and then three notes on the A string before the pattern would repeat in the next measure. So this one has a really cool progressive sound to it in case that's what you're looking for. As always you can download the tabs, get the profiles, backing tracks and video play alongs for this lesson on patreon.com slash band. You're more than welcome to practice all of this together with me in your next practice routine with the special video play alongs that are recorded for the guitar solo exercise. And obviously it's also much more fun to work on all those individual patterns with the backing tracks I made especially for you. This is also the place where you can send me personal messages in case you have any questions about your technique or any kind of theory topics or equipment, anything like that. So I'm really looking forward to getting in touch with you as soon as you join us over there. Let's move on to pattern number four now.
This one is a bit challenging but really cool and I'd love to hear it more often out there. For this one we are essentially highlighting one note D on the 5th fret on the A string by circling it with lower notes on the low E string. Some players actually prefer to play this pattern starting with an upstroke on the A string. That also makes sense of course, it's the same as if we would start picking pattern number 2 on the 4th note instead of the 1st note. But I recommend practicing both approaches because it's also really cool to have that downstroke on the 1st note to really accent that one. Before we move to the final two really cool patterns and the awesome guitar solo exercise that I prepared for you today, I have to show you the shocking graph once again. Sadly nothing has changed so far, still around 70% of you guys and girls watching these videos are not subscribed to the channel yet. That means you sadly keep missing tons of really helpful videos like that one and you're not a real part of our awesome guitar community here on YouTube yet. So make sure to change that right now by subscribing, that's the best way of staying updated. Let's work on pattern number 5 right now. This one is really cool because we don't always want to start out with the lowest note in the scale or with the root note even. So to change things up we're starting with the highest note on each string for the three note per string positions. And to make it even more interesting we're working with odd note groupings once again in 16th notes. Leave a like to let me know if you recognize this one from one of the most popular alternate picking workouts we looked at so far. So that one is directly inspired by this really cool picking workout. Let's finish things off with one of my absolute favorites, picking pattern number 6. So this one is unique because we have two different ideas for each string. So I think we're quite familiar with the first one by now. But for the A string we're doing something different. And essentially combining two ideas in one pattern results in a really cool building block that you can use. Now that we successfully discussed all six patterns in great detail, let's talk about how to practice them in an effective and musical way. As I mentioned in the beginning, the real magic starts to happen of course when we start to combine, mix and match all of those different building blocks. So to provide something extra special for today's video, I came up with a really cool alternate picking guitar solo exercise. This one is really fun to play and it combines all sorts of really cool ideas and patterns. Let's check it out together in the original tempo of 120 beats per minute. So this special workout is really cool and effective since it features mid-tempo picking the 16th notes at 120 beats per minute. And you're also working on the really fast motion with the 16th note triplets. I really recommend learning this one since it's a lot of fun to play and a great workout for your picking technique and also for your left hand. You can download video play along files in much slower tempos I recorded for you on patreon.com slash band. With these files you can practice it slowly together with me until you're able to play it at the original tempo. I really hope you enjoyed today's video on shred patterns and building blocks. Leave a like in case you want more videos like that, that really helps me out a lot and also don't forget to subscribe to finally join this awesome guitar community we have right here on YouTube. And in case you have any further questions about these exercises or about technique or theory or anything else, you can also leave a comment. I hope I will see you again in the next video. All the best and have a lot of fun shredding until then.